when I deal with, you know, people who are, are coming in off the street and they really just fall in love with something, you know. I mean, sometimes I've been known to just give them a discount because they like it so much, you know. They don't even ask for one. They're just ready to take it home and that just kind of makes me happy to see a cool piece go to somewhere where it's going to be really appreciated and I think that's just as important as making my money. I just think that everybody should have a fair shot at owning a piece of history. My name is Colin Hadway. I am the buyer and sales manager for Salvage One in Chicago at 1840 West Hubbard Street in West Town. Salvage One, um, we basically go all over the country looking for vintage, architectural, antique, oddities, anything. And basically either repurpose it or resell it um, and keep it from ending up in a landfill essentially. We don't necessarily specialize in any one thing. I think we, we really try, I mean, everything from letters coming off of a building to uh, bars, you know, full-size circa 1910 bars coming out of a building that's gonna be demolished or um, repurposed and all these perfectly good things that can be reused in very interesting ways. I think my favorite part about this job is the hunt. Um, it's always exciting when you get to go into a building, you know, that garage or that attic or that basement where you just get free access to find stuff and you're digging and you're digging and you're digging and you come across a treasure and, you know, things that you never thought you'd see uh, are suddenly right there in front of you. It's just, it's exciting, it's thrilling to um, the surprise and the anticipation. Um, no day is ever the same <laughs> at Salvage One. The couple was moving and they, in their bedroom, had a 12 foot long, single piece, hand carved canoe uh, that was, by our estimates, circa like 1830, 1840. Um, it was like nothing I'd ever come across. Uh, and when you, it was just basically hanging in their bedroom and they were moving and they said it was there from the previous owner and so we somehow finagled it out of a bedroom and through a window and down a flight of stairs. and. Uh, it's just one of those things that you just kind of never figured you'd come across. The, that car is a 1972 Mercedes 220E. Uh, that was originally, uh, it was bought brand new um, and it was uh, customized. They cut off the back end and they originally had it as a display as new stereo equipment would come in, they would install it and then a customer could sit in the car and kind of experience and listen to it in the setting. Well, they retired it, um, and I just happened to be passing by, and so I saw it just sitting there, and so I drove by, and I just pulled over, and I went in, and I was just like, is that for sale? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, how much? And he told me, and I was like, all right, well, here's my card. Let me think about it. And so I waited about six, nine months. I can't remember exactly, and then I decided to go back and just see if it was still there. He told me the price again. And I was just like, would you take this? And he said, yeah, and I called a tow truck and had it here in about 45 minutes. We started hosting events about four or five years ago, and at first it was just, you know, three events in a year, and then it just kind of spiraled, and one next year it was 30, and the next year it was 90, and now we do about 140 to 160 events a year. You know, we do mainly weddings, but we do corporate events, fundraisers, all sorts of bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, uh, retirement parties, birthday parties. But uh, I think people are just looking for an alternative to a banquet hall. I think that, that whole idea is just worn out and people want something more eclectic. Salvage One is constantly getting stuff in, selling stuff and buying stuff. It's constantly evolving so no one event is ever the same. I think what Salvage One is just going to keep chugging along. I mean, we've, we've dedicated ourselves to um, preserving and finding um, everything vintage and antique oddity under the sun. Um, and I think we just want to keep turning stuff over and finding new homes for cool stuff for as long as we can. <laughs>